strikes fear in the hearts of many. It eats away at machinery like fat men on cake, all while creeping up the butt cracks of its unsuspecting victims. Today, Tiffany approaches her first costume of the season and teaches you how to conquer the monster known as Spandex. This episode is brought to you by DX Racer, the ultimate seat of choice to heighten your gaming experience. Hey guys, it's Tiffany with your next cosplay update, and I have a shirt! Thank you, Chris! I got it for my birthday. It was a while ago, and it was my birthday, and I finally got it. Thank you! Now that we have gone over some cosplay basics and some convention knowledge, I think you guys are ready for your first convention. Yay! In today's episode, I'm going to reveal which costume I'm gonna make first for you guys. And we head to the store for a tutorial in something that all male and female superhero needs in their lives, spandex. First, the costume. It took me a while to decide which costume I was going to do for you guys because I wanted something that both had fabric and armor making in it. I've chosen to do a variation on Phoenix from the Phoenix Forest story arc. And lastly, the fabric store. So many people are terrified of the fabric store, but I promise you can conquer it. If you have a friend, you should take them. Consider it the buddy system and safety for your wallet. Meet Amanda. She isn't here to save me from the store, but to save them from me. If you live in the larger city, I would go to the garment district first. By all means, they're going to have the best deal, the best price, the best selection. Just go there. First to the pattern station. There is one pattern I always use for bodysuits. I have used it for Rogue, Black Widow, Bayonetta, and now for Phoenix. The majority of superhero costumes in comic books has a base that is stretch, hence the reason for spandex. Patterns will tell you what type of material it calls for. Next, make sure you have your body measurements to know the amount of fabric you need. Personally, I always get half a yard more just in case I mess up. You can also use the extra fabric at the end to cover boots or gloves, but we'll go over that another day. When working with spandex or spandex blend, there are three things to always consider. The utility of the spandex, the body shape, and cost. First, the utility of the fabric. What do I mean when I say utility? I truly mean that what all is this fabric going to be used for? Are you making it just for one costume or many costumes down the road? To me, this is without a doubt the most important thing when considering buying spandex. I personally would rather spend more money on a good fabric now and use that base for many costumes than constantly have to remake my bodysuits. For example, if you need a simple black bodysuit for, let's say, Black Widow, consider how many other characters you can get out of that bodysuit. If it seems that you're going to have other costumes that use that bodysuit, invest in the good fabric and save you some time. Also, when considering spandex and versatility, avoid a shiny fabric. So many people decide to get this because they think it looks good. However, it gives a wet look on camera and for the guys, it doesn't look so good. I'm just saying. Next, body shape. In no way am I trying to have a debate on body type and cosplay. Everybody does that. Personally, I think anybody can cosplay anything that they want. I have a flat chest. However, I still cosplay Major from Ghost in the Shell. However, when it comes to spandex, you have to think about the fabric, about those fibers, and what it's going to have to go through. And it's not just about that stretch of the spandex, it's also about the color. I don't care what size you are, if it's a light colored spandex and it's even a little bit thin, double up your fabric. I have seen too many bits and pieces. And lastly, the cost. It goes right back to what I've been saying about trying to have body suits that have enough versatility to make it cost effective. While chains may have less of a selection, they do have coupons a lot of time, which will save you a lot of money considering that spandex is upwards of $20 a yard. Here we are getting a bunch of white fabric for Amanda as she is cosplaying an original character and I'm helping her sew the costume. Don't forget, if you have a character that has detail, get the detail to be in spandex as well. At this time, remember to get any thread that you may need. If you have the option, get a thread that has some elasticity to it as it'll help in your machine. So now with my pattern and my fabric, I'm gonna take it home and start cutting out the fabric pieces that I need for Phoenix. Hope you guys enjoyed your tutorial of spandex. I know it's pretty scary, but next time you'll get to see where I'm at in Phoenix. Till next time, check out my channel and the links below, and I will see you guys next week. Bye. Uh, uh, hair. Ow. <laughs> That was a hair, that was my mouth. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> like, Am I? there's something else I'm doing too. And we head to the store for a tutorial in the thing all male and female 
No. Impulse is produced by the Freedom Network. Ever wanted to earn revenue from your videos? Freedom offers a great partnership program which includes access to hundreds of thousands of audio tracks, sponsorships with great partners, and most importantly, a no lock-in contract. You can leave at any time for any reason. We accept everyone, both big and small. For more information, click here or visit the link in the video description.